Hey guys, welcome back to the Grace Classic Daily Devotion. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be uh, in lesson number 16. Uh, a kingdom man serves. Uh, a quote by Jesus in Matthew 20, 25 and 26 says this. You know the, that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them. And their great men exercise authority over them, and it is not this way among you. But whoever wishes to become great among you shall be your servant. The brothers James and John had what might just be the most raucous nickname in the Bible, the Sons of Thunder. Can you imagine the sibling rivalry between these two. They said what they thought, no holding back. Luke 9, 51 through 54 tells us that they wanted to call down heavenly fire on a Samaritan village that rejected Jesus' message. And Matthew 20, 20 through 28 tells us that as soon as Jesus told his disciples about his coming death and resurrection, their mother bluntly asked Jesus to give them the highest honor in the kingdom. The other disciples were ticked off. But something tells me the sons of thunder didn't care. Yet Jesus never corrected these two men for what they wanted. Jesus corrected them for how they wanted to go about accomplishing greatness. Jesus just told them not to try to get in the same way that the Gentiles did with power plays and politics, much like the world does today. <clears throat> Many men still rule by intimidation, fear tactics, and leverage. But Jesus said, It is not this way among you. The rulers of, the, of God's kingdom are much different from the rulers of the world, as are their strategies. Jesus defined the way to get great, greatness as service. True greatness is an outward focused and others driven. It is not dominance, but rather dominion that benefits those around you. So that brings us to today's application questions. Question number one, how do you try to gain greatness? Two, who do you know that exemplifies greatness through service? And number three, what will you ask Jesus for today? So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for loving us and giving us great things in our lives. And we ask you to shape our vision for greatness and use us in your service today. And it's in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.